The national state government has tightened measures to avoid the spread of coronavirus into the state. Plus TV Africa visited the Mararaba boundary community between the FCT and Nasarawa state, where it observed a combined team of security personnel and community health workers scanning and checking persons trying to enter the state from the federal capital. Our correspondent, Amadine Uyi, tells us more. We are welcomed with a severe traffic gridlock as we arrive the Nyanya boundary community. Though we observed business as usual, we tried to find out the reason for the traffic. I'm standing at a very popular Nyanya Bridge at Abuja, a satellite community at Abuja. If you look behind me, you see a massive traffic gridlock. This is because just a few meters from here is the boundary between the FCT and Nassau State. And already the lockdown by the Nassau State government is being implemented just a few meters from here at the boundary. On getting to the Maraba community, we observed the heavy presence of security personnel and community health workers scanning persons and commuters. We started this testing on Saturday. Um, what we are doing is to take the body temperature. And whoever we feel his body temperature is beyond the borderline. We ask the person to stay for a while and then we repeat the, the body temperature. Whoever temperature does not come down, we ask the person to, to seek medical advice. It was evident nobody would pass the testing team without being properly checked. The number of people we screen a day is overwhelming because people are refusing to stay at home. Now, we are supposed to stay here and get those that are the few that will be coming. But we can see how the, 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 the queue is. And then our challenge here is that they are, we are advised on uh, social distance. But because of the stress people are going on, nobody is wanting to adhere to that. Now the process here is simple. We have identified uh, several teams working together in unison. Now this is uh, the Maraba boundary point, uh, the point of entry for, uh, from the FCT into Nasara State. Now uh, the, the process here is simple. At this point, everybody passing this point into Nasara State is being scanned with the infrared scanners to ensure that their temperature is not above the prescribed temperature. By chance, your temperature is above that uh, prescribed temperature you'll be taking further to those canopies there where community health workers will carry out further tests to ensure that you're not carrying uh, the coronavirus from FCT into Nassau State. Since I was passing, they stopped me to test me. Okay. And I adhered to it. Okay. What was the process like? It's not that hectic anyway, though I trekked for a long distance to this place. It wasn't funny. It is necessary to prevent the spread of coronavirus and all that. So we have to be proactive in our thinking. Uh, we have to take necessary precautions, wash our hands, and do the necessary things. We have to be very, very proactive because the, the virus is spreading like white fire. They say that everybody should go house to a stay for house. And we don't have something to eat, nothing. If not go outside, we don't get something to eat. At least government is supposed to provide something to us. Even though there are 5,000, even though there are 1,000. So I will get something to eat. There is many people now, all those people when you see they are waka, they are coming now. Then go out to go look, look for daily bread. And some of them, they don't have money for house to eat. Even though bank now say so you go bank, they will not allow you to enter bank to collect money. They are afraid to take serious measures. So the late hour they have given taking up the serious measures, they have subjected people to suffer. So I must either appreciate the federal government may it nor I must still give them some kudos. The team urged residents to take the threat of the coronavirus seriously. Coronavirus is real. It's not a joking matter. And then, please, our people, let's maintain a stay-at-home order. For us, it's only someone that is alive who will live to give testimony. From Abuja, Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa.